Guys, today's show is being brought to you by Harvimo Kitchen Gadgets, and we will hear more about them later. All right, guys, look, today's show aims to be killer as we continue to put this A Smoke AS350 to test. So look, man, my name is Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. Your first time here, smash that subscribe button and ring that bell, blah, blah, blah. You guys know what to do. So guys, basically, this is where we're at. I've been putting this A Smoke AS350 to test over the past couple months. I will drop a card up top, check out those cooks, but no test is gonna be bigger than today's test. And of course, I am talking about a seven, eight pound brisket flat. And we've also got it infused out with some beer. And we've been rolling now for about two hours. So let's go in, let's check it out. And after that, man, we are just gonna let this puppy run. Come on. Of note here, we got a, a basic salt, pepper, and uh, granulated garlic on this uh, on this little brisket here. I didn't want to make this a whole long, drawn out brisket cooked. I wanted to keep it AS350 tips and tricks so you can also cook the perfect brisket. Yeah. All right, guys, look, man, she has been rolling for two hours and it is looking good. Let's let it roll for about another hour or two and I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, look, we are four hours in, and I have to tell you, man, at the hour three, I took a peek, and she is looking good, and I got to ask the question, man, does your pellet grill put out more smoke than this sucker? Because this sucker, man, it releases so much smoke into the food, man. I am definitely impressed. I've been doing a little bit of yard work here, keeping an eye on it, and you could see the... Uh, the fumes or the uh, puffs of smoke just going up in the sky. Anyway, let me just open this up, show you guys the uh, four hour mark. And also I'm gonna lift it up and put it on that top tray. I'll show you. A little concerned it's awfully close to the uh, to the flame below. Where's the eight, nine hour cook? I don't want it to over crisp up down there. That is always one of the biggest problems with doing this. So raising it will definitely help. Let's go in, let's check it out and go from there. Yeah. Right off the bat, I could tell you this pit is doing an awesome job. She is hanging right at that 250 mark, fluctuating up and down a little bit like any good pellet grill does. Every time she goes down, she releases more smoke into the cook. That is a uh, that is a beautiful thing. Look, get this uh, little rack up. That is gonna hold it from the bottom. That is gonna keep it from burning. But I also have another trick that'll do the same. Guys, look, we will let this puppy run for about another hour or so. At that time, I'll bring you back and we'll give it another look. Yeah. All right, guys, man, we are at six hours and I can tell you, man, this cook is coming along perfectly. At this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out. Now, look, I'm not going to wrap this sucker, but I am going to put some foil on the bottom. Again, a little bit more protection on the bottom. Plus, I want to get a little bit of liquid in there. Let's get it out. Let's get it on the board, and we will get it back on the pit and take this sucker home. So let's just call this the Chud Boat Method of Brisket. And look, this is going to do two things for this cook. It is going to help protect the bottom which is definitely a concern of mine it is also going to keep moisture on the bottom right so that is going to be that uh that is going to uh, slow the burn slow the overcookedness of the bottom as it sits in some liquid and also this will continue to build the bark and i love this method way better than wrapping a brisket there is no doubt about it all right, guys, look, we probably got another three, four, five hours. I may even be finishing this cook under the lights. We will see. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to set our timer for 90 minutes. At that time, I'll bring you back. Welcome back. We are hour number nine. Let's go in. Let's check it out. And also, I do have it probed for an internal temperature, but I'm going to get a hand held on that. But I still think we got about another two hours. Let's go in and let's check it out. Right off the bat, I could tell you, man, that bark is really starting to come together. And I could tell you at 171, darkness is definitely in my future. So look, depending on where you poked it, we are at about 170, 180. We are moving along definitely another hour or two, no doubt about it. I might uh, tap up the uh, tap up the AS350 to maybe 275, see if we can move it along beautiful color, good looking bark. I'd say this is gonna be a uh, 
This is going to be a home run. Look, if you've been following along, I've been using this timer over here on this cook. But for the past week or two in the uh, in the house from breakfast, lunch, dinner, whenever we lit up the uh, lit up the stove, I was trying out this timer, and it definitely does the uh, it definitely does what it's supposed to do. I've been running it here for every 60, 90 minutes as I uh, as I move around the property and do some uh, do some fall cleanup and so forth. But look at this time, man. Let me get this off. Let me get this down here, and let's get a, a quick word in from the sponsor of today's cook. So guys, this digital timer can count down from 99 to zero and also count up from zero to 99. She's got three volume levels, including silent, which is very important. The numbers will also flash to tell you it is time. It is magnetic. It has non-slip pads. And also, I am definitely digging that, uh, definitely digging that large display. We're talking three inches across the, uh, across the board, not to mention how easy it is to set. I mean, come on, man. A lot of these timers, it takes you forever to figure out to set them. Not this one, man. It is set and it is push and you are good to go. Thank you, Harvimo. Yeah. So guys, don't forget to check under the show notes for a uh, coupon to pick one of these bad boys up. And I am telling you, man, for the kitchen, it is a home run. So look, as we all know in this crazy game of BBQ, the brisket is done when the brisket is done and it is done and we are dark and it is 12 hours later. And let's, uh, let's get it out, let's get it on the board. We'll do a quick rest on this sucker. Then I gotta slice it open and give a, uh, give a taste test, man. But I am really excited about this, man. It is, uh, the smell of brisket is definitely in the air. There is no doubt about it. So look, the show is definitely excited as this is the uh, the first brisket that I've ever done in a portable pit like this. So I am really, really looking forward to what the outcome is gonna be. Well, I can tell you, man, the uh, the color is, uh, the color and the smell is pretty perfect. But look, man, the proof is in the pudding. Let's slice this bad boy open. So right off the bat, man, we got a lot of color in that uh, color in that flat. We got some nice, uh, nice smoke ring in that flat, and obviously the smell is uh, wow, amazing. Probably could have let her rest a little bit longer, but she is pull apart, man. She is juicy, man. She's got a good flavor, man. This is good stuff. Yeah. What do you think, Scotty? A Scotty out there from Scotty's Backyard Barbecue? So look, man, I want to take this in live for that quick taste test and close out the show. All right, man, that is gonna wrap it up. I mean, what could you say? I mean, can the AS350 from Ace Mo cook a brisket? And that answer is, oh, hell yeah. Took us about 12 hours with a little rest. Probably should have rested it more, but oh well. I mean, look, this is a brisket to end all briskets. We got a nice smoke ring. It is pull apart and with that, uh, you know, it's got some, it's got some, a, a good kiss of smoke too, man. This sucker does put out a, uh, a good heft of smoke. I definitely dig that. I mean, look, better than some pellet grills, trust me. So guys, look, man, quick taste test. Hmm, it's killer. I also got to thank our sponsor for this show. I got information on that down below. Maybe you want to check out this bad boy. I think there's also a, uh, I think there also maybe a 20% coupon or something like that. This is our brisket. It is late at night here in the Garden State. I got to cut out. As always, this full recipe will be down in the description. Go right to my website, print it out, and that is it. Until next time, we will see you soon.